Even before coronavirus, one in four women and one in ten men experience violence from an intimate partner. And with the stress and upheaval of life in the past year, those numbers are surely on the rise. But the actual data is hard to gather. Here to talk to us about this is Kimberly Huey, clinical manager of outpatient psychiatric services at the Hospital of Central Connecticut in New Britain. Welcome. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. Uh, so we've heard that domestic violence is on the rise due to COVID. I mean, everybody's cooped up, but the numbers don't reflect that. Why? Sure. So what we're seeing is we know that people's movement has really been restricted with COVID. Um, people are needing to quarantine. Uh, and a lot of times they're quarantining with the people who are abusing them. These are parents that are home with their kids that really can't get safely out of the house and find someone that's safe for them to talk to about what's going on. So people aren't really seeking help in the way that they maybe were before. All right, the Hospital of Central Connecticut has a program that assists victims of domestic abuse and other types of crime. Tell us about the program. Sure, so we have a Victims of Crime Act program that we have, it's through the federally funded program, um, Office of Victim Services through Connecticut. Um, and we work really closely with patients to make sure that we're able to provide them care that's safe and confidential. And everything is funded completely by the Office of Victim Services. So we're able to offer them individual group therapy and medication management, all free and all confidential. And we have some information there on our screen and a number to call. So what kind of services are available to victims in abusive relationships during COVID? Absolutely. So we, like I said, we do offer the clinical services, the individual and group therapy. The other thing that's really interesting that we offer in conjunction with the Office of Victim Services is we connect people to the Victim Compensation Program, which is a way for them to get funds that are may cover other expenses that weren't covered by insurance that are related specifically to the crime. And here at HOCC, we also have um, things like basic needs support, bus passes, food, uh, emergency shelter, and we work really closely with those in the community that can help with those things as well. All right, what message would you send to someone who feels trapped in an abusive relationship that's made more complicated because of the pandemic? So what we really work hard on for people right now is making sure that they know that they're not by themselves, they're not alone. There are staff that are here that are willing to help in any way that we can, whether that's helping them get safely out of their home or helping them stay safely in their home and really just helping them understand that there are options and we are very willing and able to work with them to find out what the best options are for them at this time. Do you have virtual options for a quick last question? Do you have virtual yeah. options for people? Tell me about we that. We do, yeah. So we're offering both telehealth and in person right now. So some people are more comfortable coming in person so that they have a safe space they can speak. But for those that are able to do telehealth, we do also offer that. All right, Kimberly Huey, we want to put up that information real quick on the screen one more time. You're, you're victims of crime program. You can write there, 860-224-5367. We'll also have it on WTNH.com. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.